Hello and welcome to Fiona's Creative Canvas. I'm Fiona and today I'm doing a bloom swipe. I've got my bloom paints out here um, and I'm going to be using a black base. So let's get started. Okay, I've got my British Paints uh, Walls Interior here for my base paint. And um, I'm in my new room today. But I'm not quite finished setting up. I just wanted to get a painting done. Because it's been a little while for me. Because I've been busy sorting through all this stuff. And it's funny, when I'm going through it, I'm like getting inspired by all this stuff that I've got. <laughs> but not a chance to paint. So I thought, I've got my table ready, so I'm going to do a quick little painting. Um, and the best way to do that is to use my bloom paints. Lots of bubbles here, because I've just added a bit of extra flow troll to this mix because it's been thick and I was getting cracks now I've, it's a bit cooler today so so I'm not expecting as many cracks lots of bubbles though okay so I just felt like something a bit bright. Um, I picked these bright colours here. I've got bright blue, a turquoise. I can't remember the colour of this green. This is a mix of some golds. I'm not exactly sure what's in there. And that's got a Montmartre yellow. And then I just brightened it up a little bit with some Azo yellow light. So yeah, I just thought uh, I might do some lines. Um, I used a similar color palette using my swipe mix but um, I thought I want to have a go using the bloom colors uh, not the bloom colors the bloom using the bloom paints but I do want to see if I can get a fair amount of yellow in this because last time I did these colors the yellow kind of disappeared this uh this gold's got a lot of shimmer in it though. I do want the green to show up quite a bit as well. So what I might do is add a bit more green. And I think the gold's probably fine. So I'm going to have a go swiping that and then what I might do is um, oh, we'll see how this looks first. So I've made up some fresh swipe mix. I'm using the black oxide black. I hope I've got enough paint on here. I'm always wondering that if I've got enough paint. feels a little thick. I'm a bit worried about this mix. I just made it up. But it actually feels a little thick. All right. Just added a bit more flow troll to my swipe mix because it just, when I was trying to even it out on my knife, it wasn't flowing very well. And I thought, hmm. Maybe I don't have enough flow troll. So let's try this one out. Definitely lots of yellow in there. More than I wanted. <laughs> so 
So I think I will come back from the other direction and let's get some more colours in it. What I might do is put the gold a bit further back, just a small amount, maybe just between the green and the turquoise. Ooh. Hmm. Do I want to swipe back the other way there? I might. But I'm going to swipe this way first. I think it still is a little bit thick because it's sitting there a lot. has come a little bit further along. Mm, let's go here. Okay. Now I'm going to grab some other palette knives. Just going to put a very light amount, basically just to wet my palette knife of the black. Not sure. Get that one there. I've got a spoon here. Someone said one of my subscribers suggested. I thought I might try. Let's bring the blue through. That's nice and bright, that's for sure. I didn't add swipe mix to that. Let's try this one. need something Definitely need to keep more of this. It probably means I'm going to lose a bit of that. I don't mind going off that side. Try and decide whether to spin or tilt. I think I'll do a bit of both.
Mm. Tricky. Black. Use this to put black on my corners. Just thinking about adding some black over here. Alright, let's give it a little spin and see how it goes. I need to try and keep that blue in the corner there. I do have a little bump in there. Now we're getting somewhere. The gold is shimmering on these more black cells. And then I've got the bright in the two corners. Just make it more of a black cell maybe. Because we've got black cells here. Hmm. Gonna bring it this way a little bit. I think that gold must have some 24 karat gold in it. The way it's sparkling and pushing up through these colours. I would say so. Yep, I like it. It's cute. So, um, yeah, if you didn't see my last video, I mentioned that I was setting up in a new studio. Um, which is where I am now. I'm not quite finished setting it up. It's a bedroom. Nope. There we go. So, yeah, so, you know, a, a um, minor bedroom, not the main bedroom size.
but yeah my desk is my desk is a lot bigger so that's good Which means I'm going to be able to do some bigger canvases I've got a few I went through all my canvases uh, all my new ones I've got quite a few um, I've got to go through all my old my painted ones and work out what I'm gonna try and sell so next year I'm going to set up a website to start selling some of these paintings because I've got too many I'll bring you in for the wet look okay here is the wet look I've turned the ceiling light off because it was shining directly in the middle I thought that was going to be quite annoying but um I'll bring you in a bit closer the gold which the ceiling light was actually good for because it was uh, making it all glisten so maybe I will turn it back on briefly but uh, it's pushing through pushing through the um, other colors look at that I don't know if you can see it all glistening away like I can. Very pretty. Um, yeah, sorry about the light. I can't move that light either. Okay, I'll have to work something out. Um, yeah, so that's the wet look. I'll bring you back when it's dry and we'll see how much that gold pushes through because if you have a look up here it's pushing through or well, actually so it seems to be just like the shimmer like the blacks underneath it's very cool I'll bring you back when it's dry okay here is the dry result and I don't know if you can see the sparkle through the gold there and all through the gold up here as well and through there but yeah this one didn't turn out too bad I I really liked using the spoon actually it dragged nice blocks of color and then I've got a few little bits of gold poking through the blue there which is quite interesting some different angles got a bit of movement there through the middle oh it's not too bad yeah I think it's definitely a landscape one and I actually think I like it this way the um the black spot I might even touch that up a bit more just so that it does blend in a little better but yeah I'm happy with that I hope you enjoyed it and I shall see you all in the next one bye